For this, you're going to need some Reynolds wrap, not a whole lot, so make sure you have permission. This is about how much you need. It's like a half sheet of paper, maybe a little bit more. And you're going to want to cut strips. Um, I ended up cutting enough for two spiders. Um, each one of these strips is actually two legs because um, the body is going to be um, in between, in the middle. Once you have them cut, you're going to fold them in half about three or four times and then kind of squish the aluminum foil tight um, to make a nice, um, tightly pressed piece of aluminum foil. Um, try to keep it kind of round as you're doing that so it's not flat. You're going to do that so you have four pieces, and then one of the pieces you're going to cut a little bit shorter. Then um, what you're going to do is tear off a piece, and this is going to form sort of a head piece. You're going to um, ball that up as tight as can be. Um, make sure it's really pretty small because you don't want your head to be um, too big. pressed legs. In this shot you'll see the head and a small leg and you're going to wrap this head which might seem strange but um, this is going to form um, the head and the body together and the body is going to hold those legs together. So what you're trying to do is get this tightly on here. It's almost like a little guy with a cape and then try to flatten that cape out quite a bit uh, make it almost like a rectangle. Um, press that down um, and press as you work with aluminum foil just keep pressing down. It doesn't need to be super big so cut that off uh, in those proportions there and if it doesn't work the first time you can always do that again. Next you're going to put the small piece first towards the top and then consecutively you're going to lay the rest in there. First it looks like a little guy then it looks like an insect because it's got three and then you've got your fourth one and I had one too many sitting out there so now I've got my um, four legs on each side making eight legs push that together so that that stays firmly on there that's essentially done but what you're going to do is, as you turn it over, you can modify the structure and looks of this thing. So just keep watching as I make modifications to make this look more like the spider I want it to be. Now, a good practice at art is to redo things. So I had um, extra supplies. Um, I made two sets of legs on purpose. And here I create a new body. Um, a new head and a new body for those legs. Um, one thing I learned from my first one is that the head should probably be even smaller than um, on my first one. So you notice that this head is quite a bit smaller. Um, it's smaller than my fingers, if you can see that. Pretty tiny. And um, I also noticed that um, you know, there's different ways to do this each time, but the tighter you wrap this uh, head, the better it's going to look. And um, everything went a little better the second time because I'd had practice. So in many ways, this one looks similar, but um, I ended up liking this one quite a bit more. Um, so just keep watching and see how this one turns out. Um, eventually, I'm able to sculpt it completely, and it looks quite convincing, I think, for a little spider made out of aluminum foil. Um, Louise uh, Bourgeois was a very uh, influential artist and a lot of uh, artists uh, in the 20th century and um, she um, was a sculptor and she made these huge spiders so it's pretty cool. We're making a small one and she also made small ones but she made these massive ones too where she would need 
crews of people working on these things. So, um, you know, from tiny little diminutive things made with household materials to making th monumental sculpture with um, steel and iron, um, art can be anything. I hope you enjoy the process. Uh, working with aluminum foil is a little tricky and it requires some practice. So don't worry if you don't get it right the first time. Um, you can also make other things with aluminum foil. Um, be wary that it is on the expensive side, so don't use a lot and make sure you have adult permission if you do this. Um, also look online for spider anatomy and you can find out uh, the direction of the legs, um, the proportion of the legs, they're pretty thin. Um, you know, obviously we can't make them as thin as they would really be. But um, it's always interesting as artists to look at things like um, a scientist because they look at the specific anatomy of things and when artists recreate things, they have to know the specifics of what something looks like and it requires a lot of careful observation. So um, the modeling part of it is, is kind of fun and maybe you can creep your family out with your spider sculpture. And um, of course, as always, make modifications, make improvements. Um, this is just one thing. I've never made one until today. So, um, you know, I did my best and used my resources. Hopefully you can too.